So I'm going to be using Prolong fasting program to take care of my neuropathy. And I've been doing some research on it and I found that they had a study in Holland that they did for one whole year every month they did one week of fasting so one week of fasting per month for one whole year and that was to take care of people that had very bad cases of diabetes and this was uh, to take care of, of people who really had a hard case of diabetes the neuropathy in my case in my feet would be that kind of situation it would take a long time for me to solve it so I'm going to play portions of the two videos that this came from and then you guys can listen in to afterwards I'll in the description I'll give you the links of of the videos but that does show that it's the way they did it yeah I would I would absolutely like to put you in touch with him um, yeah. he's actually applying to medical school now but he's a very smart guy he's a lawyer yeah. and now he's going back to medical school yeah. because he's become very interested in obesity and all this you yeah, know yeah. stuff so yeah so um, we're running now a trial in, in Holland on, on diabetes patients many of which are gonna be obese and um, yeah so that's that's our hope that a, um, you know, people always ask, you know, there, there's famous uh, papers that have shown uh, what they call the yo-yo diets, right? They've shown that this can actually lower your metabolism. If you have this prolonged starvation period, um, it can lower your metabolism and then you... So you could listen to the rest of this later, but he does bring up the study in Holland. And over here in these videos, he describes a little bit the study and how it went with things that are more realistic, less invasive, and that's where the fasting making diet comes in. And this is, again, 30 years of work since the Walford years, right? So um, it's not an idea that you know, I say, oh, I see a few a patients trend. in my clinic, they're doing so well with these five days, I'm just going to do that, as it happened for many very popular uh, diets in, in, in the past. So it, this was 30 years of building, building, building from all these pillars, right? And then you get to a point, you say, where you say this looks very promising like what if we made people do this three times a year for five days four times maybe and if you have diabetes in the diabetes trial we did one cycle a month for 12 months but most people did not do 12 cycles some people did two some people did six some people did eight and some people did 12. so now we're going to analyze the data and we'll be able to tell you know who, who, who is doing well but overall they all did well so so i think that um the three two to four times a year, let's say. Some people might even last, somebody like you probably, you know, a couple of times a year, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be more than sufficient. But for most people, let's say three to four times a year. This is, he then discuss average people what they should do. But this gives you an idea of that prolong could be used on really bad cases. Now, I'm not just relying on this. The reason I'm not going to start till August, the beginning of August, is right now I'm doing an intensive whole body strength workout every every other day. And this is a organized program with people who coach you and they teach you how to exercise, they teach you how to do the stretching. If you do the stretching and they like you to change it so the stretch would be a little different, they go and show you how to change the stretch. And like today, today they saw me on the bike and they said, you're kind of slacking today, aren't you? So they kind of motivate you to keep up going. Right now on the bike, I'm doing level 11, which is 120 watts. And on the treadmill, 
I'm doing 3.6 miles per hour, which is a, a nice walking path. They they, 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 they they want me to build my endurance. They don't want me to build necessarily for speed. And then I also do exercises for my chest area. And that will come to the end at the beginning of August. So then I'm going to start this this fasting program and most likely I'm going to maybe have to go for 12 months and the way I'm going I the way I'm going to do is I'm going to go for five days and see if there's any effect and I hope that after a while I'll see an improvement but it won't take care of the whole problem and maybe after a month it'll take care of the whole problem so I'm really looking forward to starting the prolonged fasting program.